The drone images that you see over here are potentially saving human lives. Wind turbine technicians remain at a significant risk of fatal accidents. It is considered one of the most dangerous jobs in the whole of energy sector. In 2020, around 318 accidents were reported related to wind turbines, out of which nine were fatal accidents, and around 118 of those accidents resulted in documented human injury. So instead of a human having to inspect a wind turbine for any defects or contamination on the plate surface for maintenance purposes, what if we use a drone for that purpose? What really happens is that a drone flies at the trajectory of the wind turbine plate and captures images such as the ones you see uh, on the top of the slide. We use these images and then we uh, uh, take these images to an artificial intelligence algorithm and then train the computer to recognize any defects that are present automatically. However, there's one problem with that, uh, this approach, which is that image over there. Many a times the computer confuses the background as a region of interest, which is the green box that you see over there. Because of a confusing background, the computer has, result, has given a false positive. Now, false positives are detections that are made by the algorithm, but those are actually false alarms, hence the word false positives. Now, that is where my research comes in. I'm working on a technique that is able to take the original images and then extract only the relevant area out of those images using image processing and artificial intelligence techniques. What my process results in is an image that looks somewhat like this. I call these the masked version of the images. I'm working on improving, improving my technique for now, but my results, my current results have showed that this um, having a data set, the masked version of the data set results in a reduction of around 50% of a storage space that is required on the computer to store these kind of data sets since these are of huge size. And obviously that also results in quicker training of the computer vision algorithm that is used to identify the defects. And then obviously it also results in, detect in a reduction of the false positives. Hopefully with my approach, I will be able to save more lives of wind turbine technicians efficiently and more accurately. Thank you.